Hey, what's going on, everyone? It is Crack Snipes here, and we are doing the boss battle in uh, Brawl Busters. Uh, we just defeated the boss last round, um, and I wasn't recording, of course. Um, so basically, the basic strategy of this one is to just basically kill the boss, obviously, um, while he spawns enemies. Um, and just dodge, you know, as many attacks as possible. Um, the best strategy that I have found, um, I will explain when we actually get there. Um, but he has basically three main attacks, or actually maybe four. He does the little spit of the goo. He does his little ground pounds. He spawns his enemies. He does the hideout. And then he does the uh, flying. So actually, and then he also does a charge, so that's maybe five attacks. So basically, when he does the charge, you want to get behind the center uh, where the items come out of. You want to hide in the center console. So when he does the charge, you'll you'll see him get ready to charge you, and so you want to hide behind the center console to my left. That's right there. And that should protect you from anything. Um, it'll stop him in his tracks, and he won't do the uh, the ground pound. And when he does that, I usually just turn. I do a 180 and, and run. Because if you do the dodge, you're still probably going to get hit. If you just do the 180 and run, you're more likely to dodge it than anything else. And I think he also gets stuck on the center piece as well. Um, I think there's like an invisible wall of some kind, maybe. Um, but I'm not really too sure. I'm, I'm still testing the theory out. But as you can see, I am playing as the fighter fighter. In my opinion, he's th this is the best class. Uh, the best range for this, in my opinion. I don't know, maybe there's some sluggers out there that really like this. Um, that are really much better than I am at this. Or much better than a uh, firefighter. But I truly believe because of the, the shields that the firefighters can put up, they definitely are the better of the two range classes. Um, so yeah, as he, he charged me there and I really did, I didn't get enough time to get behind. But hopefully next time he does that, <coughs> the charge, I'll be ready for him and I'll get right behind there. So the center console, the center console acts as a, as a defensive mechanism in in his other attacks as well. When he, when you do the the hideout, usually it's around maybe when he gets to about 50 health, about 55 to 50 health, um, he will do a thing called hideout, or it'll tell you to hideout, and it, and it's his ultimate ground pound. Now I saw this guy in the last in the last round when we when we defeated him, he he actually got in the ground pound itself. Oh, I just got nailed there. Wasn't ready for that. Oh, nice. You got the uh, fire going on him. That'll do some extra damage. Um, but I mostly keep on the boss as much as possible. I know, you know, it, it may not be taking him all the way down. It may be taking him really slow, but I mostly focus on the, on the boss. That's just my strategy. That's what I do. I just mainly stick on the boss. I help out a little bit with the, with the guys on the ground. I find the skulls are the worst, are the worst. Other the, them and the skull rockers, man, they suck big time. Uh, and also the shield can protect against, as you can, as you saw that his little spit uh, that he does, the bubble gum, I like to call it because he is bubble yum. All right, he's asleep. Oh, I wish we had the uh, super combo or the uh, upgrade. Oh man. Like to back off. I think he does this for maybe about 10 seconds, 15 seconds, something like that. He does that little uh, sleepy mode thing, whatever it is, that sleep mode. Oh, you getting on my nerves here, Skull. Ah! Get out of here, nobody likes you. <laughs> So the the main setup that I that I that I think is good is you have two range and then you have two melee, either rocker, bl blitzer, and then you must have an uppercut, an uppercut boxer, um, just because you get the nice knockback and if there's a lot of enemies you can knock them back. So that's that's what I prefer um, in my groups. Um, that's the group that we did it with. 
two fighter fighters, a boxer, and a blitzer. So that's that's how I think is a winning combination. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe a rocker would be a rocker would probably be really darn good. Um, but that's the combo that we did it with. Um, okay, here's the hideout. So you want to hide behind this. You want to line you want to line of line of sight the ultimate ground pound. So you want to get behind there. You want to get behind the center console and just dodge it. That's the best way to do it, and that's the only way you're gonna do it. You cannot dodge it, you cannot jump and dodge it. I think I'm gonna try the... I'm gonna try and get really close to him and see what happens. I'm gonna do that next. Oh, we're getting there, 50%. Almost there. Almost there. Almost at 50%. See, I just dodged him there, see? Oh, I got him right there, and I, I lined up sighted him into the center console. Oh, it's this fight is is generally not too hard, um, uh, but you know with the, with the extra guys going around, it can really get a, it can really be a handful for a lot of people, especially for not not very experienced players. This fight is definitely not for the novice uh, kind of people. You definitely have to go in here with some experience and you know how to and whatnot like that and like that. I uh, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Yeah, my attack, my attack is like really low. I've been like the lowest in the group. Oh no, oh no, I'm gonna get on. Oh no, oh no, get out of there, get out of there. Oh! There we go, there we go. Alright, now I'm just gonna stick behind here. That skull is on me like white on rice. Oh god, no! Oh Jesus. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh god. Alright, sweet. Got behind it. All right, fifty-two percent. Nice, get him. All right, heal him. Oh, so overall, this game seems pretty fun. Um, they, I wish they would incorporate another boss. I'm not really sure if there's other bosses in this game. Um, well, this boss fight is all right. I've, I mean, I've done it. I've done it quite a, quite a numerous amount of times, and I really haven't completed the farthest I've ever gotten before this group was um, 50% and we died instantly because nobody knew how to dodge the hideouts so um, it's been really good you know here hopefully my uh, computer doesn't, doesn't decide to put up a security thing and I have to stop the recording hopefully not because that would suck <laughs> alright he's asleep oh we gotta get him gotta get him oh no our boxer's down All right, hide out. All right, let's try this. Nope, there doesn't work. I took that one right to the face. Oh, gotta run from that. All right, uh, so we're just gonna stay here and oh, oh, get behind it, get behind it, get behind, get behind. How did he not take it a hit? I thought the shield didn't work. Oh snap! The shield doesn't, the shield works for the uh, fighter fighter. It works. It blocks the hideout. So fighter fighters, if you if you have a shield, um, recommend using it. It works. Uh, now the gun that I'm kind of like thinking about getting is the the one with the nine shooter and the shield. Um, that'll be the next weapon I'm thinking I'm, I'm picking up. I'm not really sure either that or the one with the the bomb and the nine shooter uh, that that would that would be really good here but there would be no way to dodge the the uh the sticky stuff i guess i if you would stay behind here enough because the, the center console does does block those if you're in the right trajectory or projection of the projectile um because it kind of has like the arcing motion of the the sluggers uh super shot and regular shots so I mean, you can, you can dodge it um, if you are at an angle. Um, so I may, I may think about getting the one with the mind ball because that's nice, and the nine shooter is apparently really good too. Um, 
so we're we are getting there. We are getting. I wanted to do a video where I fully defeated the boss. I don't want to give you a video and a commentary where I wasn't defeating the boss, but hopefully we can take this boss down. Um, <coughs> if you guys are want, if you guys are curious, my name is Crack Snipes, uh, C R A C K S 